Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the add-ins which is called the Speckle Manager. Speckle Manager open new ways to collaboration between different software. Let's say you're working in Revit, your colleague and working in the Blender. With the Speckle you able to make the collaboration between two of these different program in lifetime. You no need to transfer your files between these uh, programs. You can do it online, let's say. Also, you're able to transfer not only the information about your elements, you're able to transfer information about your parameters, uh, about some specification, or even you can transfer some reports. You can uh, create the reports um, after you're working on that. Today I will cover only the top side of the speckle. I want to show you what you can do just after you will open it. So without any special knowledge. But if you will interesting of the speckle, we will go to more deeper and deeper to this program because actually I found it it's really nice open beam resource which is it's also the open source. So if you are ready for this uh, tutorial overview, let's get start. First of all, you should download the Speckle Manager. So as you can see here is that a lot of different programs able work with this uh, uh, add-ins. Let's call it LED add-ins. So and after that, you will be have uh, able to collaboration. The nicest thing uh, what we have in the Speckle, we have the branches. So the branches in the Speckle, uh, it's the equal to the you know, versions. Uh, this actually what I really love in the speckle, but this is not only the thing which is uh, which is can do by this add-in. So once you will download this uh, uh, this resource, I mean the this uh, installer, you will get uh, for for example this small uh, program. Actually, this is speckle manager, which is will give you the another thing you will able to install to uh, for example to your soft. Uh, let's say I have here the Blender, uh, I have, uh, for example, on my uh, PC I have also the ArcherCut, but I already installed it for the Blender and for the Revit. And just try to imagine how many programs it's uh, you are able to install it to the how many programs. But we are work with today with only two programs, with the Revit and the Blender. Uh, because the Blender, it's the best uh, example of the open source uh, program and Revit it's uh, best pro program uh, with the proprietary uh, it, it means not free software so you already install it so you already have it so we can now open the our file let me I will open the file once you will open, um, I will change the view to the 3D actually it doesn't matter which you, view you are using uh, for now just uh, to represent what we have here. Okay, and what the next? Next, you will get here the new tab, which is called the speckle. Let's go here and uh, straight away, let's go to the Revit connector. Uh, once you will click on the Revit connector, you will get uh, this, uh, this new um, window which is we can work with that so actually i already have here the stream uh, but uh, i wanna uh, show you the basic things so that's why i will create the new stream you not will get, have here anything so let's uh, click here the create new stream new stream let's say it's like uh, create the new project if uh, simplify it so, so create the new project and let's call this project somehow uh, let's I will call it like uh, I don't know the test project. So I am always calling like that test project. Okay, so this is will be test project and it also will be private. So let's we make the private. It's again it's up to you. I will make it private. So let's click uh, create it, and we already did it. So now the speckle waiting, even we can going back. And as you can see now, we get here the new streams test project. And we also able to go to the uh, to the website. Let me go to the directly to this website and let's see what we have here. Uh, the stream home. So this is like a home screen, home page. Uh, here nothing as you can see. Speckle now waiting uh, when we will um, sending here the some data because right now it's nothing here. So we will back uh, to to this window a bit later on. First of all, we want uh, sending some um, data. 
data to our speckle. Let's say uh, the idea will our idea will be simply one. We wanna just send only the walls. Uh, I just wanna show you the idea, and that's why. Uh, just I will, I will unvisible all these things, and I will choose the wall. Where is the my wall? Wall is here. Let me. I will click the wall. Okay, and okay again. And as you can see now, we can see only the wall on this window. So and only the windows. I oh window <laughs> walls on the my mm, screen. So now we're going back to the test project and uh, you can find here the send and receive two, bot two bottoms, but we are interesting now the send one. You can directly click the send and you will, as you can see here, everything to main. So you will exporting everything what you have in your project. But if you kill, uh, click here, you will find it uh, what you can do. For example, mm, Let's not let's not mention on this thing right now. We will mention only on this thing. So this is actually translating like what you wanna send. Let's click on that and we can select like selection, category, view, work sets, some project information, parameters. As you can see, we already have a lot of the possibilities. I will export the view. And this is view calling the 3D with the camel case, as you can see. Let's select it. Um, this is all the my views in this in uh, this uh, project. So let's uh, choose this uh, 3D with camel case and let's click send stream line. So it's actually it's working really really fast. I think like uh, like few more words I will finish and yeah it's finished as you can see. Uh, and as you can see now the speckle uh, giving to us a chance going back to the our uh, web uh, page. Let me we'll go back, back to the web page. And here we are. And as you can see, here is our data, which is already inside to the speckle. So this is pretty amazing because we get uh, what we have in Revit. Now we get in the web. Okay, this is uh, actually <laughs> for what for what we get uh, get here the our data. So we should do something with that, right? Uh, but before we will do that, let me show you the one thing. Now we can go to the main and you will find here the mm, your project, which is we already synchronized. Here we have, for example, the branches, as I can say, it, as I trying to explain before, uh, this is like a version, let's say. And actually, if you will go to the import file, you can drag and drop import uh, some extra data here. You don't need also the using the Revit, but it's already another, another topic. Uh, but the nice thing, you have the collaboration too, so you can work not alone. But about this, uh, I will uh, explain, uh, I think, in uh, next tutorials. So, what we have right now? We have the project now in the web and we want to use this project. Uh, let's go back to the, now for example, to the Blender. We have the Blender here. And uh, if you want to activate uh, your, uh, of course, after you're installing, uh, I mean, after you're installing the Blender, you need to activate add-in here. So I will show you first how, how to do that. Go to the edit, go to the preferences. Here inside you will find the add-ins and it's not just a speckle calling, this is calling actually the scene speckle blender. Here, just click on this uh, button and it will be work. And after that, if you want to, for example, the get the me menu in the blender with the speckle, you should go here, just click here this small button as you can see, click on that and you will see here the speckle. Okay, click on that and you get it here. As you can see here, I don't have the my uh, new uh, test, uh, the stream. I will update it. And as you can see here is the now we have test project. So I will delete everything what I have on this scene. And now I will just click on this test project. And as you can see here is the my main branch and uh, only the one, uh, only the one, mm, let's say version I have here. And uh, the speckle already saying to us, this is actually like oh, 89 objects from the Revit 2022 and uh, actually in, in time and who it's sending. It's already perfect. So let's receive this data just few seconds and we already get this data. As you can see here we get all the our walls which is we sending. Pretty amazing, I think yes. So let's uh, do the some more things. Now I will 
change a bit something. Let's say I'm working with that and I'm creating already the floors. Let me make the floors. Oh, yeah, it's here. Mm, actually, here it's not a lot of the floors. Uh, I think it's more than enough. Let me see. Yeah, so here, is, as you can see, it's empty. We will see the changes. Now we uh, have now the floors. Uh, yes, we can now send. We can uh, rechange, for example, the our mm, sending information, and we can make also the, for example, send only the new objects. But let's say we are we are noobs. We are just uh, new users. We wanna use it as we can uh, fill it. I will directly just will send this material again to the speckle. By the way, you can see it here, uh, what's going on. For example, we sending, the blender receiving. We sending again from the Revit. Let's go back to the blender. And now I will again update. And as you can see, here is the new number we get. And with the, another numbers of the objects. Let's receive it few seconds and now we have the floor here pretty awesome but what about the blender we are now working in the blender and we wanna also to transfer our data to the Revit is it possible and I will say of course it's possible let's click shift a I think if you are working in blender you know these things uh, and here we have the mesh let me create the cube and here is the cube and uh, I will place it somewhere here uh, also, I will change, for example, the. Uh, I will do some manipulation with that because I want to show you like it's not copy from the somewhere else. So I have the one as you can see uh, already uh, cube here, and let's let's just leave the one cube here. So done. And so what we're gonna do next? Next we wanna uh, send our new information to the speckle. So how we can do that? Simplest way, we can select again everything what we have here and just can send it. So let's uh, let's do that just uh, like this is terrible way, but we will do that. We'll just send all information and we call it like uh, the new design. It will be the just new design and let's send it. Let's say OK. It's already done, but as you can see, we cannot uh, here go straight away to the our speckle manager. Let me will open it here. Mm, I will go here, and yeah, here is the new commit. As you can see, where is that? Uh, let's that streams uh, and the test project, and yeah, this is new commit. As you can see, let me will open it up. Oh, it's I think this is old one because I cannot see the my, my bench. 19 minutes ago, mm, just give me a second, where is the new one? Oh, one minute ago, here. And as you can see, we get our bench here. Now we need just to receive all information in Revit. If you look here, it's the commit number, it's here, it's the, the commit number. But uh, actually, no need to remember it because we have the new name of this uh, commit. So the commit, let's say this version, we can go back to the uh, Revit and just easily go to the test project, re click the receive and as you can see, we get here the data. It's uh, like in messenger saying us like we get the new data just open up here and we have the last connection we can select or we just have the name here the new design let's click on that and let's receive data just few seconds and we will get our branch here as you can see so it's simple as that if you will select it you will see this is generic model yeah be careful if you cannot see anything uh, it means this is object generic model so we get it and uh, if you, it actually you cannot change anything uh, of this uh, generic model because this is actually not parametrical of course it's not parametrical because we did it in uh, in Blender. This is really, uh, let's say, not so smart way like I'm doing right now. I just want to show you the, without uh, going deep to the program, how it's working easily. You don't need to even the thing, even if you're working, for example, like I'm showing to you right now, this is not right way, but anyway, this is showing uh, the idea of the speckle. You can uh, exchange of your data. Also, uh, I was not mentioned about the main. So what's that main? Main actually giving to you idea to, for example, create the new branch. So you can create the new branch, you can create the new, uh, let's say new design, where you have the design, like final design. 
we can create the final design we can create ju just some description and we now have uh, another uh, another branch as you can see final design let me I will go back uh, I will go back again to the test project so receive or send so let me I will open and we get now final design as you can see so you can change anything and create another branch of your tree of the mm, your design variants so and this is can be you can create um, unlimited variants of that and for example to the blender you're sending one type of the building to the uh, rhino you're sending another type of your building uh, and uh, different uh, people different your colleagues working with the different design but uh, when they finish they sending to you uh, like in one line so this is really cool the thing so uh, let me I will summarize first of all what I want to say about the speckle uh, we have a lot of the information of that uh, you think it's stupidly but yes uh, the information it's uh, cost really much if you will go for example even the here you can see you can change sell uh, you can uh, send information to the Excel here the some instruction you know need you don't need to create anything. You can really, you can go to the this, for example, manager and see how you can uh, export uh, information. If you will go, for example, here, let me second uh, finding the rabbit. You can even see how to sending to the Notion, how to connect the Grasshopper, Unreal, and Unreal Engine and Rabbit. And uh, with, even the, with the SketchUp and uh, also with the Power BI to making your visualization data uh, this is really uh, like unlimited things which is you can do with these things because the data it's the main thing data it's like the foundation of any your idea if you can manipulate with data you can create anything so and the speckle giving to you this idea the speckle giving to you manipulation with data uh, other thing I mean the what you will do with this data it's already a limitless by your imagination so if you're interested in this tutorial if you wanna know more about the speckle uh, I wanna uh, I wanna, uh, I can uh, spend the time, I can create the tutorials about it, but uh, I should understand, do you need that? So leave the comments, likes, share this video, and uh, let's see, uh, do, do I need my uh, audience uh, this uh, tutorials? Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. I hope it was interesting for you.